Hey, it's Adam with TechDive AV Club, and this is a tip that is going to work for both Vegas Pro 18, which I am in, and Movie Studio 17 and earlier versions. So uh, I'm ed editing this uh, crazy long uh, tribute to Zelda thing that I, you know, because it's me. There's a lot of little cuts and stuff and crazy things going on. The timeline's getting complicated, and I'm about to need to use a slip tool. So I thought it was a good time to kind of highlight this tool and what it's used for. So I'm trying to show a couple of Zelda things from different games side by side. And uh, one of these scenes, uh, you can see I have it highlighted right here in the middle of this mess, is uh, I, I don't have exactly the part I want, but it's part of a larger scene and I need to actually adjust it. What I could do is like move it over, add more to it, try and find a better part of the scene or whatever. But that's a lot of work, especially when there's a tool that does this for me. So I'm gonna hit Control Z and get back to where I was. So if you go to your normal edit tool and hit the arrow next to it, you can actually just select the slip tool. And the slip tool is cool because uh, you can just slide where the scene starts and end and it shows you the starting frame and the ending frame while you do do it so you can actually then I can see where it is in the context of everything too based off where my cursor is here so I can get the start frame and the end frame and maybe see if that works better no because of where everything's highlighted so I'm not gonna choose that part right there but I can scroll through without changing the edit because everything's where I want it to be it's the amount of time I want it to be it's in the location I want it to be with the effects I want it to be in the track I want it to be I and, and and I just need a different segment of this so I can just slip slip it through until I get a segment that better fits what I'm looking for so that's a good example of how to use the slip tool with uh, Vegas Pro 18 and Movie Studio. It works the same in both software with the buttons being in the same place. So thank you so much for watching. The like if this video helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one. Sometimes they're real quick things that you just highlight different needs of the software. A lot of times they're bigger, more robust tutorials. So it just depends on the need of the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Lots of helpful links in the description. I'll see you guys next time.